life. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream. Today is May 30th, 2020, and we're doing a live stream open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, and much, much, much more. It is um, the weekend that uh, basically the first weekend really uh, from the demonstrations that are going on across the world really regarding George, George Floyd. Uh, but this has been building up because uh, Floyd wasn't the only victim of centralized power, the enforcers of centralized power. There have been many throughout the decades, the centuries, right? So we're going to talk about whatever comes up, but I'm pretty sure that is something that will be the central theme of this live stream and the one tomorrow as well. Hello, Reno Mike, how are you doing? Aside from that, while the notifications go out and people start rolling in, I'm going to give my little intro for people who might be watching this after the fact or who want to know a little bit about who we are, what are we doing? What is this all about? I do have a presence on patreon patreon.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work know what i'm up to that's where you want to be you can follow without committing funds and after following for a while you get a pretty good idea of uh, the central theme of my work which is very much math oriented but very much justice oriented as well okay and uh we are live streaming this on twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e all one word so if you want to participate in the chat live this is where you want to be at okay hello money man how are you doing half the country is bothering for yeah burning down uh There's a lot to be said about that money, man. There's a lot to be said about that. Here in the US, Trump has been feeling this. Uh, I, Mike Reno, I don't think it's Trump only. Uh, a lot of things have been fueling this. Zare, how are you doing? This is nice. Good to see you, Chicho. A reasonable man in times like these is comforting. Uh, thanks for the trust, Zare. Thanks for the tw trust. Twitching Jason, evening, evening. Current events, didn't know anything was going on. Ha <laughs> ha, exclamation mark. All right. I do announce these live streams on Twitter. Twitter.com backslash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. I also do the same on Minds, Gab, VK, and Elo. Okay, those are five platforms that I'm announcing these live streams on 30 minutes before we go live. And uh, if you want to get notifications, you can turn the notifications on on those platforms as well as Patreon. I do announce our schedule on Patreon. And if you subscribe on Twitch or follow on Twitch, you should get notifications as well. Okay. And we will be loading this up as an audio podcast on soundcloud.com backslash chicho, C H Y C H O. Because. Uh, We've had a lot of requests over the years to start providing this content. We've got 900 plus videos on YouTube and must be well over 100 on BitChute, uh, if not two. Uh, so there's a lot of videos out there, a lot of content that we have that I'm going to start slowly uploading the podcast, the audio on SoundCloud. May they be live streams or they may be recordings that we've done. And we've already started doing that at the beginning of... Uh, this month may 2020 okay and we are uploading the video on youtube and bitshoot everything goes on bitshoot and uh, as the sensors tighten up on youtube uh, there's going to be some content that you will only find on bitshoot aside from that thanks for coming in gang we'll see where everything goes okay it is interesting times indeed interesting times indeed okay uh just to let you know where i stand regarding this situation uh, george floyd is just the most recent victim of this power right and 
there has been there have been many victims of centralized power uh their enforcers executing people right i'm glad to see that people are extremely upset about what's taking place uh but we shouldn't forget that there were many 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 others before that right george floyd was murdered through suffocation in a matter of nine minutes ten minutes right jonathan magby was murdered through suffocation not just by the police uh but by the courts and it took two to three days for him to suffocate to death right so if you don't know who jonathan magby is look him up and there's many other people across the globe who have been brutalized murdered by these central institutions and their enforcers so whatever we do wherever this discussion takes us let's not forget everybody else okay and there are others that are being murdered as we speak right some of them journalists as we know okay aside from that welcome to another live stream reno mike no but he is he is supposed to uh, to be the leader he could have a positive effect if he wanted to uh, with your reno mike could he have had a positive effect could he would would you would you rather have uh poison being spewed but a by a well-spoken representative of centralized power than the blunt force instrument spewing garbage by you know being a puppet of centralized power by the same people right the previous administration did the same thing as militarized police the police state was executing people ahoy graham how are you doing elder god 1991 1991 i need the reference for that elder god and son Ruffy. hey chicho greetings from toronto greetings greetings brother i've lived in toronto a little bit it's a bit late here but better late than never better late than never twitching jason chicho just out of curiosity how do people outside of us see our police culture how often does this happen around the world outside the us it happens often the uh, my my the thing that i'm most amazed about right in much of the world the citizens of the population know exactly what the police are right the institution I'm not talking about individuals it could be nice individual police but the institution right because it is the institution that hires these psychopaths right really like people say oh you can't dish the police when, when we say police we don't mean individuals we say the institution the police the enforcement institution right they hire these people right and they protect these people and they they do many things right so in the majority of the world huge chunk of the world people know what the police are they are the blunt force enforcers of centralized power right if you go to africa south america central america most of the middle east most of asia uh europe eastern europe or i mean that's pretty much it i don't know what the police are like in antarctica but uh, if you go to any continent people will tell you that they police are not there to protect them they're there to enforce power right to instill fear it amazes me that people in canada and united states still look at the police as serving the people they're not they have never served the people really they serve capital right so do the rest of the people as your for your question people outside the u.s see our police culture they see it pretty much the same way they look at their police culture in general there are places that it's not as brutal as this right how often does this happen around the world uh, often very very often minneapolis is having uh issues i hear yeah elder god i hear that too uh philo timo hello chicho it's three five thirty six a.m here so i just dropped in to say hi and i'm going going back to sleep sorry no worries uh fill time i hope you have amazing dreams 
if you want to have amazing dreams uh just upload a nice chill asmr uh harvesting grape leaves uh just to counter what's going on right sorry um it's just a shock factor of it being shared on social media which has people in outrage all over the country granted there are plenty of opportunists exploiting the situation exactly including the police force right agent provocateurs right never forget montebello quebec where three agent provocateurs still wearing their combat military boots from their uniforms dressed up as black block uh, uh, as antifa with rocks in their hands during a peaceful protest trying to start a riot this is three police officers that were ordered to go to a peaceful protest at montebello quebec right in canada to start a riot really and it came out you know a few years later that oh yeah the orders were given from the top down to go raise hell so there's a lot of police officers right now starting riots there's videos of that coming out right so some of these opportunists are not just criminals that the state says they're criminals it is the state doing this they are the criminals right yo what's up chicho sleepy ways how you doing surprise i could still join yeah three four hour four hours ahead i think and protect them reno mike magus how are you doing oh my god i i live live right by fairfax this riot is going on directly outside i have i have never seen anything like this magus be careful take care martyr nine good evening chicho got the notification from discord jumping to say hi hello hello welcome to another live stream lonely piggy how are you doing hey chicho 2020 is getting crazier every month yeah and it's not going to stop after 2020 right this is going to continue this is a cycle that we're in that's going to last uh, a little bit of time okay so be warned be careful uh twitching jason right as in the system the police force as a whole protect whole protects and upholds graham do you think that uh that has a lot to do with hollywood in the 1940s and 50s the law was the good guys the good guy then uh yeah hollywood had a huge role to play in it for sure look at all the police cops police movies and stuff that comes out same level as the military movies that comes out right uh it is what it is right it's indoctrination brainwashing right are you excited uh for jake paul versus ksi i don't know is that the wwf i don't know I'm very bad with the names brother so i'm not sure reno mike what about racism around the world or is it more prevalent in the us no there's racism all over the world reno mike really there's racism all the world right or china look at china what how they were treating blacks right during the COVID pandemic stuff like this look at the middle east how they treat blacks in large part right look at different parts of the world there's racism everywhere right but i thought rioting was illegal hmm solovic vicious don morrow say chicho hello how are you doing captain hog howdy howdy uh philo time this scheme the government is trying to pull i think will fail miserably people starting to notice it they're trying to turn us uh, on each other yeah i don't think it's succeeding tell you the truth except for the few the police are doing their best this is uh kiwi and mandarin liqueur that we made elder guard mark duggan 2011 london killed by police riots in many major cities i was right in it wow and riots in england would have been insane that would be my guest the man the legend smith how are you doing rambo hey what's up buddy hope you're taking care magus twitching jason los angeles fairbanks and third street there are three police cruisers on fire and fireworks fireworks rubber bullets people looting uh, the grove big shopping mall is partially on fire wow 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 crazy 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 and with the police cars being on fire uh just remember gang that the police forces in canada united states i'm pretty sure other parts of the world they come and park their police cars in front of rallies peace rallies so the people will light it on fire if people aren't lighting it on fire agent provocateurs 
police, undercover police, dressed up as demonstrators, come and light it on fire. And then they bring all the cameras, mainstream cameras, to take pictures of police cars on fires, and they broadcast all over the TV. And those people who are program still watching corporate propaganda centralized corporate pro think that people are just burning things down including police cars oh no right so be warned there's a lot of propaganda being uh spewed through corporate uh, propaganda are the cars burning sure they're burning who put them there who's burning them right graham a few months ago you were talking about um that this was going to be happening and then COVID happened i guess this is what you were talking about yeah graham yeah you could see, again look you could see things coming a mile away if you're paying attention right tensions are rising up this is something that's snowballing and it didn't start with george floyd okay really important to appreciate it right have you watched the video you should right if you haven't watched the video you should okay i don't care how squeamish you are because it's you can't bury your ha head in the sand right but you also have to learn about previous people that this has happened to right throughout history look at the wobblies what was going on with the unions and with the with the factories uh look into the minor strikes in the 1920s and uh 19 early 1900 early 20th century and 1900s and stuff like this this has been going on for a long time we are just being exposed to it more rapidly right so we shouldn't just be reactionaries and let this die down because once you become reactionaries you become desensitized to what's really taking place and you freak you, you can't harness that energy to do something productive you just become appalled by what's going on and you jump from one thing to another right keep the long game focus and play right this has been going on for a long time it is going to take a while for it to change right and it's not going to happen from the top down it has to happen from the bottom up right it has to happen to from the bottom up to a level where family members turn to their friends and family that are in law enforcement in the military and look at them and go do you do this how could you do this right shame them they will be haunted by what they have done okay the system is rotting from within we have to expose it okay captain hawk the way we have to fix in the u.s is to elect new officials that hold officers accountable for crimes they commit and officials that don't incite violence captain hawk agreed but it's not happening right people say oh you know we need people of color in office we've had people of color in office right in the last administration the president you had uh colin, colin powell initially well colin powell was a previous president but you had condon Reeves of rice you had you had black leaders and major powers right you had uh fast uh, fast car the uh, what was his name uh, sending weapons to mexican car to arming mexican car really right they were supposed to be the good guys put in power and they did exactly what has brought us to this point right it has to happen from the top down shut the place down right general strike everything wall street governs our society right now what does wall street feed on it feeds on profits shareholder value shut it down right Catholic traditions I grew up in a small rural town for the most part our policemen and women were fine folk they 
without exception, lived in our small town. And those that I knew well, which were most of them, saw their job as a service job. When members of the police have a strong stake in the community in which they work, I believe they tend to better uh, tend to be better holders of the public trust. And I agree with Catholic traditionalists 100%. Right now, there is one. Of, there is room for corruption once everything is kept in a bubble in a community and stuff like this. Right, but that is rare. There's a reason why in saudi arabia the enforcers are brought in from outside the country from pakistan and stuff like this there's a reason why in india the policing that is done the brutalization of the people that are done in india the people who are doing the brutalizing are not the people the police they're not the police that live in those areas they're they're brought in from different provinces to brutalize the other right in canada there was a law that if you became RCMP that was on the books if you wanted to become RCMP you couldn't be RCMP Royal Mounted Canadian Pol Police that changed uh, I think four or five uh, maybe a little bit longer a few years ago because people weren't signing up to become cops right if you wanted to become part of the RCMP you couldn't serve in your own hometown right you have to go somewhere else right so there is a reason that centralized power separates communities destroys communities wall street does the same thing it takes money from communities puts it in centralized power and gives them crumbs you know a certain amount of return that hopefully beats inflation per year so people are sitting at home all happy thinking oh they're they're protected right and that's what centralized power does we need to decentralize everything right uh, fellow time speaking of China and racism Chicho you need to uh, research this Chinese government has been uh, getting your I tries out of their land they are literally forcing them to leave with violence this doesn't uh, get enough attention uh, fellow uh, Timo agreed China's doing some horrendous things right um, how many here I'll ask a question for the chat how many here in chat are from China I'm betting zero right how many here in chat are from canada united states and europe i'm guessing the majority so what we have to do that we live in canada united states and europe okay there might be some people here i know there's some people here from brazil and stuff like this south america right we have to take care of our own house first we can't point the finger at other nations right now i know there's atrocities being committed but we can't point their fingers and start saying hey they're doing this because we're doing this we need to take care of our own house first and then we can start addressing the problems that other nations have right the reason we can't put our 100 percent of our focus there right because those nations will turn around and say hey look at you you're executing your own citizens in public right you're throwing quadriplegics look at jonathan magby really okay this story brought tears to my eyes when i first heard about it right jonathan magby quadriplegic that to prevent him from smoking cannabis because it was the only thing that that allowed him to live his life he went to court right quadriplegic that was became a quadriplegic because of a drunk driver that hit him okay when he was a child he became a quadriplegic the police arrested him because he was smoking cannabis took him in front of a judge okay the judge said i'll let you go if you smoke stop smoking cannabis he goes quadriplegic sitting in in the most powerful institution in the united states quadriplegic okay man turned to the judge and says judge i will not stop smoking cannabis because it is the only thing that is keeping me alive the judge said i'm going to send you to jail he said i'm going to die in jail within the next two three days he suffocated to death in jail right and we who do this want to go to other nations and tell them not to brutalize their own citizens what right do we have right we got to keep our eyes on the prize take care of our own house first before we have a right to do anything else which is a situation in canada you also started the rise 
Agent provocateurs, look into them, Rambo. Sam hit Chicho, you're getting us through COVID, now riots. Hope you're around for Armageddon. Sam, we need to deal with issues, right? Okay, gang, I want to scroll down and start addressing things uh, that are directed towards me because there's a lot of chat here and I've set my piece in large part of what I think the situation is. So I'm going to start um, addressing specific questions and I hope everyone's having a great conversation, uh, whatever conversations that are going on right now in chat. Uh, Magus, Cornell Blast had a really solid three minutes on Anderson Cooper last night that is touching on a lot of what you're saying, Chicho. This is just a particular tipping point. Agreed, Magus. And here's the thing with Cornell Blast. I watched that thing on Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper is a propagandist, period, right? So I agree with Cornell West. I'm happy that people are recognizing the lynching that has taken place in public view, right? So I'm glad that there are people on the streets, right? However, I disagree with Cornell West calling Anderson Cooper brother. Anderson Cooper is not our brother. Anderson Cooper is the mouthpiece of centralized power, right? Anderson Cooper is the problem. He is not a solution, right? So full respect to Cornell West of, I like him. I like how he speaks. I don't agree with him on everything not by a long shot however uh one one of the things i disagree with him is calling calling Anderson cooper brother Anderson cooper is not our brother not my brother okay i'm just gonna scroll down catholic traditionalist chicho uh there is for sure potential for corruption in a tight local police system we saw a bit of uh petty corruption for time to time but for the most part the fact that the members of the police grew up in the community and still live there accountability was very swiftly and strongly strongly insisted upon agree catholic traditionists you see blips in corruption right but when you have local police forces right the police chiefs are elected positions um that should be the case anyway right so once you have that then if the community is not happy with what's going on they can definitely remove the corruption from their system right uh I'm down at the bottom chat, gang. I'm going to keep on reading this. Uh, Chicho, any thoughts on uh, the NASA and SpaceX launch? I watched it. It was cool. There were little glitches, so people are going to have a heyday with it, right? Um, it's cool. I like. I like. I would like us to, s to go back into space. This is uh, for my snack. I brought a little bit of uh, salad. I made uh, apple, uh, beets, and cabbage salad with um, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, a um, little bit of lemon, okay, and um, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and I crunched up some of the spearmint that we harvested, uh, that we dried, okay? It's very delicious. It's very refreshing. I just felt like something nutritious and refreshing and uh, just ended up making this, right? It's very good. Michigan, the world needs some positivity. Nubrias, should the police start using deadly force against the rioters and looters, not peaceful protesters? Uh, no, absolutely not. If they're going to use start using deadly force on looters in the streets right now, then they should be going to Wall Street and using deadly force against the bankers and the ceos that looted the nation not only in 2008 but also in 2020 right so when should you use deadly force when people are robbing a walmart or when they're robbing the coffers of the u.s taxpayers uh in the tune of trillions of dollars which one does more damage all right which one I wouldn't try. I'm with Graham. I wouldn't trust the police to make that call. This is the beat water. 
I call it beet juice, but it's not beet juice. It's the water that I boil the beets in, and I drink this. It's fantastic, very good for you. So whenever I make beets, I peel the beets, put the beets in a pot of water, boil them. I drink the boiled water, right? I put it in the fridge, and it's cold, refreshing, and eat the beets, obviously. Chicho, do you think we should prioritize group identity over individual identity? No, I don't think so. The way out of this is we realize every human being is worth the same. We are, our lives are equal, right? And then we can get together with groups and create positive change, right? Chicho, it, Chicho, it costs way less to launch with SpaceX than with Russia. So I'm glad we are uh, going this route. Yeah, Captain Hawk, I agree. I'd like us to see go back into space, right? But instead of weaponizing it, instead of putting satellites, everything pointing towards the Earth, I'd like to see satellites point, pointing towards space, right? The salad is great, Twitching Jason, so good. you eat your salad i'll enjoy my nachos smith nachos is great too i like nachos right hey chicho hello hannah how are you doing so this will stop once the remaining uh three are arrested no nabirus uh what started is not the demonstrations in the street the protests and stuff might not might stop but what's been rolled out it's gonna take a few years to play out okay weasel beast funny enough i'm creating a report into how the uk conservative government has funded the figures since 2009 some interesting stuff comes out of the data once you take the time to like the data reveals a lot right that's why data is more valuable than gold all right catholic tradition snacks snacks sound great chicho definitely a healthier choice than than mine i am currently enjoying some leftover kansas city barbecue ribs and burnt ends oh so delicious i'm some spicy coleslaw oh, sounds pretty good to me catholic traditionalist sounds pretty good to me Chicho smells like beets toilet juice <laughs> no beet juice my grandma makes a killer beaten carrot juice oh nice uh at least there's no uh space force yet at least there isn't well we don't know if there is or not tell you the truth captain hawk right i know you're smoking herb tonight you're smoking herb every night brother probably not da -da -da. Uh, Rambo says, what about the Canadian aviation program? When will Canada send the person to Mars? Well, I hope to live long enough to see us at least create a moon base. Is that asking for too much? Can we have a moon base, please? Okay. Chicho, do you know who Jordan Peterson is? Yeah, I agree with lots of his uh, viewpoints. I agree with some. I disagree with some. I think he's totally uh, confused about others. So I I don't follow his work. Uh, the, I've watched some of his lectures, read some of his articles, uh, watched a couple of debates he was in. He was wrong. He was presenting falsehoods in one of the debates uh, that he was having with, um, I forget who it was. Um, so, you know, take him with a gigantic grain of salt. Uh, but I agree, he, he is per presenting his perspective, and I think he's authentic. He is trying to, trying to improve our society, right? Captain Hong, with commercial partners focused on low Earth orbit, NASA has freed up more budget to build a space station around the moon, which they will use to build a base and then go on to Mars. Captain Hong, I wouldn't count on the United States being able to do that. Not solo. Okay uh united states is bleeding funds from everywhere and nasa is more militarized than uh non-militarized right now okay we'll see where it goes jackless 
Kovar, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, are you a fan of Bob Dylan? Sorry for being off topic. Oh, you're not off topic. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I don't mind Bob Dylan. I listen to Slow Train Coming a, a, a lot. That's the, Believe it or not, that's my favorite album from Bob Dylan. Uh, Slow Train Coming. Okay. Captain Hawk. There's supposed to be a moon base by 2025. We'll see, Captain Hawk. I wouldn't put my... Uh, life savings in a tragic boston alert hey chicho this is off topic but do you ever listen to the song chains and thugs by bb king i've seen bb king live brother i saw bb king live in the late 1990s very happy that i saw bb king live as for the song i can't remember what the songs i, I listened to a lot of bb king so uh i don't know which songs I would have to hear it to know if I uh, know the song or not. And it's been a while since I listened to BB King. Uh, but it was fantastic seeing him live. I also tried to go see John Lee Hooker live, but I couldn't get tickets. And that was in the mid 1990s. I think mid 1990s. That relies on a lot of things. A sleepy way she show how do you how do agent provocateurs really obstruct protesters in general both peaceful and non-peaceful uh, they start riots they there's a video of a cop dressed up as a protester going around smashing windows right they start they break shit they burn shit they kill people <laughs> the agent provocateurs once they're found they should be arrested on the spot interrogated find out where they got the orders from all everybody above them that was involved in making this happen should be arrested all of them all of them bar none no no bail they keep no bail they have to sit in jail until until their day in court comes okay and then We'll see what the appropriate judgment that should be laid on them, right? How they work, do the bidding of centralized capital, centralized power that wants to enslave, brutalize humanity, right? Wall Street, they protect capital, period. Anybody that puts, puts capital, uh, Prophets of Wall Street ahead of humanity, ahead of empathy, uh, should never, never be in position of power, ever, right? Chicho, I really want to hear your answer to Sleepy Wave's question. Uh, which question was that? Agent, yeah, I think I just answered it. Uh, Hoop Bird, how are you doing, by the way? Oh, Poop Bird. Welcome to another live stream, brother chicho i was uh hoping you'd say that slow train coming is my favorite album is it jack's jack really nice nice really it was a fantastic album and i really you're the only one that i've that i've heard say slow train coming is bob dylan's favorite album for them i've never heard anyone say that right to me it resonated it was deep it had empathy Right, and Bob Dylan is a folk singer, right? I'm so excited that my generation will go to Mars and I might be one of the first to make the journey. As long as my height doesn't get in the way, I will look back at her from low Earth orbit, the moon of Mars. Fun, fun. Zara, yo, I'm going to do my comic haul video and Twitch Chicho later tonight. Or tomorrow I have no followers but it's just for fun Azari brother do you have a YouTube or bitch you channel preferably uh, and YouTube for sure uh, load it up to both those as well please okay just in case we don't catch it and definitely announce it on our discord page as well when you go live or when you set up a time to do it okay if I can make it I'll try to make it with these protests uh, Thomas from 1993 with these protests I feel like any time in history man has authority over man they abuse it sometimes even if he is found guilty as he should be another abuse will occur in the future yeah no 
one should be given power over another human being's lives right which is not the case right now those who have power in our in our societies should be held to a higher standard in our societies so if you have two people committing a crime the person that was elected that is in a higher position of power the punishment for them should be more severe than the person that doesn't hold power over anyone or, or in our societies that's my take slip away chicho how do you how do we dismantle cops do we ask them to quit their jobs you can shame them and you can change the laws right like check this out here this is what i've been thinking over the last few years right i'm just going to give you an analogy right now we don't have firemen driving around the city looking for fires to put out right like no country does this as far as i know little firemen sitting in sitting in their trucks driving around and looking for fires to put out right why in the world do we have police right occupation forces and they are occupation forces right driving around communities that they don't live in to find crime right i think right now one thing that we can do to eliminate police brutality to reduce reduce police budget save money to save people's lives passed laws in our community saying this is the way the police are going to operate from now on they're going to sit their asses down in their own precincts okay until they get a call where someone calls them up and says i need your help they are not allowed to drive around communities looking for trouble right why in the world do we allow cops to do this that is insane to me right and that is the perspective i've had for the last like 10 years right why in the world do cops do this why do we even pretend that this is a legitimate thing to do do we do we assume that when people see someone in uniform that the criminals are going to fear doing anything in that community has that worked over the last few decades right cops should be in their precincts if they get a call someone needs help they can go there and help them out okay if they don't get any calls then they set their ass down and watch tv all right all right play back i'm gonna play chess read a book read history all right learn about their communities go online and you know talk to people all right Things are good here, Chicho. Nice bird. Uh, protest downtown where I live, where they flipped and burned cop cars. <laughs> Shit getting crazy. And we mentioned this earlier, right? Uh, the cops place cop cars, older cop cars sometimes, and put on their sirens in front of protesters. And then either agent provocateurs or dum dums that want to do some violence or people who are just angry that want to do some violence they go and burn like, and then they take pictures and they broadcast that everywhere and instill fear in people right i'm just scrolling to see uh what the chat is i have both zara you have both uh bit shoot and youtube uh, can I record it on Twitch and upload to other platforms? Yeah, Zara, what you can do is, uh, and for sure, go into your Twitch account, make sure the record automatically is set. In uh, the live stream DJ set we did, our last DJ hadn't set that, uh, that thing, so his set wasn't recorded. So make sure that your set is going to be automatically recorded. Do a couple of test runs, right? And then what you can do is, download your video and then upload to youtube and bitshoot okay and i think you can set it that you can directly upload to youtube i don't do that anymore i did initially but i don't do it anymore i download and then i upload right so uh but make sure your thing is set and if you're broadcasting through whatever platform uh, whatever uh app that you're using or software that you're using obs or whatever it is you should have the option to record on your hard drive as well okay and do that for sure 
uh, just as a safety mechanism. If there's any glitches in Twitch, you don't lose your comic book hall, right? Catholic traditionists, it is frustrating to hear the dehumanizing rhetoric that is so often used, often by multiple parties in the affair. When a polarizing event occurs, it helps to keep in mind that everyone involved has inherent worth and should be treated accordingly. Adolf, on the cover, fire trucks, just in case something goes up, flames. Yeah, crazy, right? Uh, Michigan, Mission Gun, Michigan Reed, Michigan Reed, really, uh, really never heard that ma that man, but seems like the words of wisdom uh, comes from the mouths of fools. I don't know who that is referred to. I suddenly want to uh, watch Training Day. Great movie. Doop, doop, doop. T -t 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 -t. Jack, sorry, I accidentally sent half a message. I was saying the album means a lot to me, and it's awesome to hear someone else appreciate it. I agree. I've not heard much love uh, from fellow music fans. Yeah, Bob Dylan, Slow Train Coming. What a great song. And the one about the animals god created the animals it was so good so good division being fueled by western leaders weasel the division being fueled by western leaders is playing with fire if the two sides take a good look at the facts present and look at the actual data in terms of economic impact they will be pretty shocked to find out how much both sides have been played rather than sorting out the issues they have just turned us on each other i'm assuming there's a conversation going on about uh, trade and trade wars and stuff like this just want to read that da, 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 sleepy wave chicho i never uh thought about it that way but it makes sense that cops would want their vehicles to catch on fire can you think of um in-depth examples of when this happened sleepy waves this has happened in the past we know this for sure right uh, so look into it uh, the police just and it's come out that they're putting bricks in places uh, videos of mounds of bricks being put in places in front of demonstrators to for them to use and the cops are going around breaking windows and it's crazy utah jazz the riots in my city were literally a couple of dozen people at most who flipped over and burnt one of those conveniently placed ancient cop cars the governor still used it as an excuse to call in the national guard damn utah jazz what what are the bets that the people that were flipping that cop car that was placed in front of them were cops dressed up as demonstrators i'd be willing to put money on it those were agent provocateurs it really i'm willing to put money on it man okay agent p the new brown shirts yep elder god says by the way gang uh, i saw a couple of follows uh pop up thank you for the follows thank you for the subs if you've subscribed uh to the channel appreciate it apologies if i'm not uh noticing them right away i get lost in the chat they made my night chicho thanks so much my pleasure uh jack that's really made my night chicho thanks for the mo thanks so much and that's about slow train coming bob dylan slow train coming simmer hello hello michigan reed thank you very much for the bets appreciate it for your goatee thanks <laughs> simmer how are you doing hey chicho here uk people here uk people watching late early morning hours what did you have for dinner what did i have for dinner harry canary i had the salad okay and i had it more in for lunch i had it in the afternoon this is sort of my dinner i guess but i'm not having re really large dinner i had the salad which is apples beets okay and cabbage with uh uh spearmint that i dried a little bit of balsamic vinegar a little bit of apple cider a little bit of half a lemon squeezed in there right i had this i had quinoa 
Okay. And I made cuckoo. Uh, cuckoo yesterday. So I had cuckoo, quinoa, and the salad. Healthy food. Very good food. Michigan Reed, you can't sleep. I hope you don't have work tomorrow. It is Sunday, so I hope you can chill. Good, thanks. Thanks for just watching the sun come up at 4 a.m. Nice. I was up early this morning. The video that I just uploaded to BitChute and YouTube with me harvesting grape leaves, I shot this morning. I really wanted to put out something peaceful for the weekend. And it's a full on ASMR video where I'm harvesting grape leaves. And I got up and I was shooting that video at 5 30 this morning with the birds chirping, right? So I really wanted to put that out. So I hope you're you're hearing birds start chirping as the sun comes up, the birds start singing. It's very nice. It's very nice. Nice, yummy, thanks. My pleasure, Harry Canary. Hello from Toronto. Bailey says Robertson Bailey. Hello, hello, Toronto. I lived in the Markham one summer and I lived in uh, Blur and uh, Sher Sherburn, right downtown. Very good. Catholic traditionalist. I finally made it to the barber today. I got much of my goatee chopped. Seeing yours, Chicho, I am now suffering a bit of remorse. Ah. <laughs> I haven't been to a barber for a long, long, long time over two decades now hey uk brothers how's about that sunrise nice there's people watching sunrise in the uk so far we know elder god and jackson lescover twitching jason all right guys i got to bounce have a good night everyone stay safe out there thanks for the insights chat chicho as always you too brother twitching jason take care brother Sleepy ways, Chicho. You keep saying that the violence is probably the agent provocateurs. Uh, agent provocateurs are involved for sure. There, there are other people that do it as well. But what what if it isn't? Yeah, for sure, there's violence being committed by people who want to commit violence. It's not just agent provocateurs. Don't get me wrong. In my opinion, the anger by protesters are fully justified. And if they want to burn cop cars and smash bank windows, then so be it fuck property quite frankly everyone has their own opinion sleepy waves i don't think violence solves anything but i can appreciate why people are smashing bank windows right coolio how's it going brother hope i didn't miss much i was enjoying the, the silence it's a rare moment when the house is empty nice coolio enjoy the silence if you need to go back brother this video will be up in a couple of days on the bit shoot on youtube okay salute everyone here's to the victims of centralized power right is this a religious channel no <laughs> not a religious channel michigan reed we talk religion religion comes up it's part of our lives but we're not focused on religion no coolio my room at my house is on the second floor and i have a tree right by um, by one window once or twice uh, a bird has landed on my window screen very pleasant to wake up to awesome awesome coolio weasel beast if he if humanity could spend even one percent of its efforts on solving the real world problems we have instead of throwing billions of story at stories illusions we could revolutionize the world quickly indeed i agree with you weasel i agree with you weasel michigan reed beautiful sunrise awesome awesome Julio, I saw peaceful Black Lives Matter protest while I was uh, out doing an errand today. Everyone was honking their horns to show support, myself included. Made me deeply sad that people still have to protest in 2020 against racism. Yeah, I agreed. Agree, Julio. Graham, Chicho, is that liqueur good? It is good. Yeah, it is good. It's not as strong as some of the other ones. 
It's uh, kiwi and mandarin, and it's very delicious. It took a little bit of while for the flavor to settle in, but it, uh, I really like it. As you can tell, right. Utah Jazz. Uh, even if no agent provocateurs are involved, personally, I'm willing to bet they are, though. The fact is that 99.9% .9 of the protests are totally peaceful, and I think the media is exaggerating the violence simply to scare people and get ratings. Yeah, and to do the bidding of centralized capital, centralized power, because they want to impose martial law and lock people down and enslave people even further, right? Catholic traditionalists to sleepy waves. The protesters' anger is understandable, but I suspect those local owners of small business, many living in the communities, would disagree with the F property sentiment. Yeah, I agree with tra Catholic traditionalists. Yeah. And by the way, a lot of the big companies like Walmart and those things, when they're burning down, a lot of those things have insurance, right? So they're going to be paid. And then everybody's insurance is going to go up, right? Just shut it down. Shut the roads, right? Stop shopping at big box chain stores. Robinson Bailey, if everyone had a dog, things would be more peaceful. The loyalty of a great friend is truly priceless. Um, Robinson Bailey, I don't think that... I, I understand the sentiment, but I don't think that's uh, that would happen, right? Look at the Epstein's cellmate he had a lot of dogs but he wasn't a nice person right a cop that was caught murdering people right that was sent to jail wow a cop sent to jail crazy right and our president is basically encouraging violence against the protesters coolio says who listens to that guy thomas from 1993 yeah their anger is totally understandable but i think i just think no amount of protesting will convince the government to become uh truly just the government is not going to become truly just because they're not going to listen to the demonstrators the demonstrators yeah the whole system has to be dismantled right but a new system has to pop up in this place so we need to work on both uh, I think it's obvious that the system is on the downturn, right? We just need to build the infrastructure and the communities to support local communities, right? Local, uh, so we don't see uh, people begging for centralized power to come and save their asses, right? Coolio, the media is exaggerating, but also they're simply not showing the peaceful protests. I would argue that the peaceful protests have been going on longer and more widespread than the ones that uh, that go bad. Yeah, I agree with you, Coolio, 100%, right? But there's an old saying in ratings, bad news, if it bleeds, it leads, yeah. Sleepy ways, Chicho, I feel like when people often preach peace over action, they follow up by telling us to do things like vote instead. No, I don't think voting is, is the solution here. I think building local organizations is the solution i believe in preventing big box chain stores to come into your local community to shut down that that they get things on the cheap they get subsidies from the government to basically force mom and pop shops to go out of business is the problem right uh, vote as the saying goes with your wallet right support independent creators stop buying crap from large hollywood uh wall street institutions right i'm just scrolling down i'm just gonna see what's uh in the chat wise guy race riots and a new space race 60s all over again that's crazy on the same day right same week true i sort of doubt the government uh so utah ja utah jazz true i sort of doubt the government will be like crap a minor protest in salt lake burn a car i guess we better stop police violence now yeah they're not gonna do it right and i saw camilla harris was joining the protest camilla harris brutal human being right she should be looked into for corruption she she was 
she passed laws that brutalized tens of thousands of people right people need to be careful there's going to be centralized power those puppets that are going to try to co-op this movement right don't let them right don't let them come in between the anger that people feel and what needs to be done all right do not look for leaders you are the leaders right if you smell bs then the odds are it's bs right if your gut tells you these people aren't really the real thing they're probably not really the real thing right weasel spain has begun a basic income project for their poor hoping it is a success as the argument against it will fall away we'll see we'll see elder god i'm capable of great violence but it's not you uh it's not you capacity to do a thing but your understanding of when to use it that matters cops have it backwards cops have it backwards agreed elder god and everybody is capable of violence right really there there are very few people that i've ever met in my life that i would say are not capable of violence i think a lot of people are capable of violence it's the gravity it's the magnitude of violence that you're capable of and when you choose to use it if you choose to use it policing is totally different right now their first business is to commit violence right why why are they patrolling our streets why aren't they sitting their ass down in their police departments and waiting for a call just in case someone needs their help right why are they looking for violence why are they starting violence coolio it's true dismantling of the system possible possible without violence yes i want to believe they are but lately i don't know i feel like there's been uh, so much public outrage against mass shootings police brutality and related issues for so long but the cycle still continues here's the kicker coolio the brainwashing of society has been going on for a number of decades right in the early 1900s people knew that the police were the bad guys they knew it because they were part of the union the police would come into their communities they beat the crap out of people they take bribes everybody knew this and then hollywood came in as Graham pointed out hollywood came in and started making police cop movies fbi movies cia movies saying that oh how many how many good cop bad cop movies have you seen right or cop partner movies how funny cop partner movies right that paints a picture that cops are oh just nice people and stuff like this the individuals might be but the institution the policing institution has always been there to protect capital not people we have to go back into the mindset to appreciate what the police are right and look upon them in that light okay that way people won't be fooled into calling the cop every time like for example that girl in new york uh in the park where her illegally her dog wasn't even not even on a leash running around a bird watcher tells her to put dog on a leash she has a panic attack and calls the police on the guy right that person as far as i'm concerned needs a psychological evaluation she's 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 crazy right and rightfully so she got fired in the police law enforcement is going to look into her conduct right and i think that's what they said i doubt it if they're going to do anything about it then should they do anything about it no not really but we shouldn't have a hotline for people to call the police for on bird watchers because they told them to put your dog on a leash right crazy people did we talk about our air air imagine did, we, did, did you talk about the cop thing yeah we're talking about it brother so yeah if you take o with shako fako if you don't. what are we supposed to do coolio in what regards brother a streamer watched yesterday coolio says who was watching and discussing protest live stream ended by shouting uh at, out several twitch streamers of color and then hosting one who was online cool how's it going chicho air Maj. airman says airman j23 welcome welcome to another live stream brother or sister of course 
how does this compare to rodney king's assault uh will it change the way police use force uh, no not centralized power it's not going to change the way police use force by the way ground thank you for taking care of business and mods thank you for taking care of business uh no and rodney king was pretty serious uh you know i mean it was televised live right but there wasn't the social media around right so people who were watching it they got the clicks on it right and then they had the trials on it and the police got you know found not guilty <laughs> how right and then the city burnt down not burnt down but it was riots and stuff like this and then it died away because the media moved on to the next story slowly right social media is different we are online we are connected right we don't need to let stories die away right just don't follow the clickbaits jack chicho i'm sure you get this all the time but do you personally experience asmr and did your videos always uh follow this format no i started uh, loading on videos uh with my math videos that was the first videos i put on uh creating math content right i've i actually let me rephrase i actually went to a martial arts demonstration tai chi qigong and stuff like this and videotaped i loaded that on and i went to a music festival edited those videos loaded those on i believe and then i started making math videos or math videos might have been before that i'm not sure but i started making math videos specifically myself to teach mathematics rapidly to people as quickly as i could connecting with people who are in school which is basically doing a graffiti style and stuff like this i started making asmr videos because asmr is something i didn't know it was called asmr it's, it's, it's something that uh, i experience right but i don't experience i do experience the tingles up the back of the neck and feel relaxed and stuff like this but it's a state of being that i've been able to kick myself in for a number of years way before i started doing asmr videos but one thing i did was i put out a video uh, before i knew about asmr of me combing my beard right and then i read an article about asmr watched a video on asmr and i'm like okay wait a second this is what i feel this is what is this is what is called asmr so i went to an asmr forum and i said hey gang here's a couple of videos i put out a while ago a year ago two years ago i don't know where it was do you guys consider this asmr because if you do i got an extended you know i got more footage that i didn't put up because i was making them shorter right they said oh yeah yeah this is asmr please please upload it so i cut it loaded that on and long story short people requesting asmr math videos and asmr videos i started making the asmr stuff so hopefully that answered your questions catholic tradition of sleepy wave chicho i agree that voting is not all that effective what is very effective is rolling up your our sleeves and building our communities as i have said many times before we do not need anyone's permission to make a real positive impact in our local communities nor we do we need to wait to do so 100 percent agreed with catholic traditionalists you don't need centralized power to tell you if it's okay to do something or not just do it if you think it's a pot it's going to bring up a bring about positive changes in your community do it right beet juice or beet water delicious i'm going to scroll down gang just to see if there's any uh stuff directed towards me Graham again thank you for taking care of business I'm gonna there's a lot of chat I'm missing here gang so I'm just gonna scroll all the way down until I see Chicho uh, if I miss anything please let me know uh, please repost your comment and I'll do my best uh, to address it Chicho um, see the ways uh, infiltrators escalate the uh, direct shame to protesters however I think protesters should not feel the the responsibility to de-escalate the reason ferguson baltimore and all the two all the 2014 2016 protests fizzled out is because communities signed uh assigned each other the shame of escalation escalation um i think one of the reasons they died down is because the the movement got hijacked 
to a certain degree because the 2016 election happened and then people started believing the dnc and russia gate and all this crap came out and people actually believed that bs right keep your eyes on the prize the enemy is not across the water the enemy is in your communities those who have power who are selling you out to wall street the enemy is those who are in centralized power in your government right if you have an elected official a mayor someone in your community who is selling out your community so they can get kickbacks from wall street kickbacks from big corporations right in the next election get rid of them write articles about what they're doing right and this goes for your state governors and in canada a provincial right in canada we had a corrupt corrupt incredibly corrupt liberal liberal government provincially okay in british columbia my god horrendous horrendous they sold out the citizens of british columbia to money launderers international and local and to wall street bankers and whatnot they got voted out people are so sick of them if those people in power right now people talk about them you feel like vomiting right there are they still have support but they have support from people who profited from selling out the communities right our federal government in canada under the conservative harper were so damn corrupt so corrupt that they couldn't even win an election right that the the leading person was a corporatist right from the liberals right just get rid of the corrupt right the enemy is not across the water if there's any politician where you live that comes out and says that your problems that you're facing are because of the boogeyman across the ocean they're lying to you get them out they already sold out to wall street okay that's the reason the ferguson stuff died out because people got fooled they got hijacked i hope it doesn't happen in this one and i don't think it will people can smell the bs coming a mile away now right uh bird chicho what would you do if martial law was put into effect what would I do if martial law was put into effect? Uh, I, martial law putting into effect, it wouldn't affect me as much because I'm going to do what I'm doing, continue to do what I'm doing, right? I wouldn't confront martial law directly, right? I wouldn't go out into the streets and put my life on the line against the bullet of weekend warriors, right? That are doing the bidding of centralized power, right? I wouldn't do it I would let that die down right and then once they start pulling out then you shut it down again right and while they have martial law in place start working on building your communities build the connections make sure you stay in touch with your neighbors right make sure everybody understands that you are under occupying force right it is an occupation martial law is an occupation okay make sure everybody in your community understands if anybody's defending the martial law engage them verbally discuss with them why they are fooled okay the martial law is not necessary it is an occupying force because they they're not there to do the bidding of the community they're there to do the bidding of centralized power that is answerable to wall street okay that's what i would do so i wouldn't confront them with violence you won't win okay coolio you'll just become a martyr and i have no desire to become a martyr really none whatsoever right julian assange stated this he had no desire to become a martyr but he is becoming a martyr okay and man what a martyr what a martyr george floyd martyr martyr jonathan magby martyr martyr ayat el halek right 
the Palestinian boy that was killed by Israel in the last couple of days that was going to his school that was on a spectrum had mentally disabled I don't know what the correct word is right they executed him the Israeli police while he was going to school right a martyr right George Stinney the 14 year old boy that in the 1950s I believe that was tried convicted by an all-white jury this is a 14 year old black kid that was tried and convicted by an all-white jury for killing two young girls right and then later on it came out that he didn't do it right the united states government the whatever state it was in i forget what state it is in, electrocuted this 14 year old boy that didn't do anything right martyr martyr okay be aware that there are a lot of martyrs in this in our history right there are a lot of a lot of people that the centralized power has executed okay some live being broadcast right you have to ask yourself do you want to be a martyr for me no okay i hope that answers your question i still trade for the canadian government over us utah jazz i, I agree uh, united states is in deep trouble okay and it doesn't make a difference if the democrats get in the united states was in deep trouble under obama as well okay under clinton as well why is brian maroney considered one of the most corrupt prime ministers why there was there was he took like i'll just give you one example he admitted on taking meeting with someone a german citizen that didn't want to get extra out of germany he admitted meeting with him in a restaurant okay and taking a bag of cash that this person gave him in a brown bag like literally this prime minister admitted and it came out as 100 percent true that he met with this person that was he was trying to prevent himself from being extradited and the maroonie government did put things into place that slowed down his extradition process and then when it came out that they found out that brian maroonie had taken a kickback in a brown bag full of cash prime minister of canada like <laughs> and that's one of the least of the things that he did brian maroonie was garbage garbage and even after all this came out some of the people that are totally brainwashed would were lining up to get buy his book to to get it signed by him crazy crazy i'm just going to scroll down to see if there's anything directed towards me gang there's a lot of conversation being taken place michigan reed whatever happened to the rapey swimmer that got three months oh the olympic guy that uh the girl in the alley is that the one uh, i don't know he, he was acquitted it's on the same level as uh the dupont heir one of the heirs to the dupont family that raped a four-year-old girl and the judge said he wouldn't fare well in prison and put him in house arrest in his mansion what kind of a justice system are you kidding me what justice as someone else would say is just us right it's not just us it's just us okay gang i made it all the way to the bottom of chat coolio Hitler Youth was trending on Twitter in the US this morning, for God's sake. It was a group of children in Georgia that were outfitted with military equipment and standing by the protesters. They were being instructed to tell people they were called the new Hitler. Oh, Coolio, is that the one that they were protecting a mall or something? One of them was like 12 years old. That was insanity to me. That was crazy right there was a video of this like he was a little kid like 12 year old dressed in riot gear is that the one and then beside him there was like 
there was four of them or five of them and i think the oldest looked like it was like 18 the other ones looked like they were 13 14 15 or something right crazy crazy like we are too far gone at this point at least in deep south states like that ah uh, i think don't count out california and new york new york man new york we just saw police cars run down people right it's the same look what you have to appreciate the policing in the united states is homogenous they get their orders from one centralized place right now do you know why we know this is because during occupy protests all of a sudden overnight under the obama administration they denied it all of a sudden overnight all of these police agencies all across the united states raided all these police uh, wall street occupy uh, protests and they shut them all down overnight that's centralization of power right that's all it is they were saying oh, it was coincidence coincidence my ass right i just think the us is too big they've made the divide far too far too uh big because of uh partisanship if that's the case then the earth is too big and we're doomed right i don't think that's the case i think we just have to eliminate most of the laws on the books to allow people to live as free human beings so we don't need police to patrol our neighborhoods to arrest people at random right oh look at that person jaywalking oh look at that person drinking something we don't know what it is oh look at that person that that person just hanging around loitering loitering you can't just hang around somewhere because police will bust your ass what in how is that even a thing right yeah i agree with utah jazz i don't utah jazz saying i don't agree i don't think that the deep south is uh, as deeply different from the rest of the u.s as most people think yeah i don't think so either utah jazz right look at detroit right look, seriously new york look at new york nor do i graham says yeah i agree robertson bailey i studied canadian politics in university pierre trudeau has been credited as one of one of if not the best prime minister what's your take on it he did some bad stuff he militarized certain things he brought in martial law right but one thing Pierre trudeau did which was extremely important for canada he stood his ground against the united states of america when the united states which is something that the conservatives didn't conservatives on the maroonie sold out canadians right pierre trudeau stood there and said no we are canadian we refuse to abide by your laws the conservatives did not do that okay the conservatives sold out canada mainly because of corruption okay and some ideology ideology they came into power the conservatives and the reform party the merge with the conservatives and stuff like this but they came into power uh, when when the born again christian movement came into place evangelical movement came into place and they got a stranglehold they got their foothold in uh, alberta right with the oil sands tar sands right it was crazy <laughs> coolio but even if the powers that be gave up their power unlikely they won't and people's individual freedoms are restored how do we go about re-educating those who still agree with racism and bigotry coolio i don't think it's possible to re-educate those who have grown up under racism and bigotry for decades okay they have been programmed in that way what we have to do is tolerate their racism appreciate that it is it is it is something beyond their capability to understand right it's going to take time right some people think you can end racism overnight you can't end racism overnight or bigotry overnight it takes a number of years or a number of decades to deprogram people that have been programmed by centralized power or their institutions whatever to be racist over a number of decades right you can't do it overnight right what you have to do is educate the generations coming up and saying no 
that is not okay right that's how you bring about change right as the saying goes i mentioned this before scientific innovation doesn't uh, come about by innovation it comes about by the old guard dying one scientist at a time right Texas also gets a bad rap, but I see all all kinds. Of, yeah, and Texas, amazing, amazing people have come out of Texas, right? Bill Hicks being, as far as I'm concerned, one of the greatest. Yeah. Coolio, we're all going to run head first into second wave, and that'll be the crippling blow. Maybe. Jack Less, Jack, hey Chicho. Do you have any tattoos? No, no tattoos. I'm, I didn't go in that direction. I decided a long time ago that I don't want to portray things visually to make a visual statement. Aside from my facial hair, but I love my facial hair. Right? It's not. I'm not trying to make a statement with my facial hair. It's part of me, right? So I decided a long time ago that I would build uh, my debating abilities i didn't want anything to be on me for people to prejudge me or in good or ill right and i just don't i love art right i don't want to i don't want to attach myself to an art piece on me because i know loving art there are times where certain art falls out of favor some people have told me i've had this discussion with people saying no they a lot of people get tattoos to mark a special moment in their lives mark a memory uh bond themselves with others and uh, just make themselves or remind themselves that something important had happened to their lives or they're commemorating someone or something and stuff like this for me i i didn't decide to go that route i just commemorated my own way right coolio chicho you said those people can't change have you heard of uh there i didn't say they can't change it takes a long time sorry i said they can't change initially but it takes a while for them to change i've changed the mind of some of the elders but it takes a lot of effort right have you heard of daryl davis he has made a hobby of converting kkk members he is a black man he is a black man he has converted over 300 kkk members to renounce their old ideologies simply by presenting convert uh persistent conversing with them yeah it is possible for sure coolio right but for me i don't have the energy to do that uh, i did before i used to get into debates with people convince them convert them or whatever it was right and i've done i've i've I've, I've helped change the minds of a few people but since i teach since i interact with the youth the youth are better uh, better prepared to accept different ways of thought than what they what they think they know right they are more open to ideas and discussion than those who have been under uh brainwashing programming for a number of decades right so for me i get more bang for my buck talking to people who aren't set in their ways as much right maybe i'm just getting older and i i've i've done my part trying to converse the elders or people my own age or a little bit younger even right Wasis, Trump is a result of blatant corruption for years on both sides of the spectrum, 100%. I, I tell people, Obama's legacy is Trump. That says a lot, okay? That tells you how bad Obama was, if his legacy is Trump, All right? Elder God, Chicho, your goatee is a force of nature. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's going to happen when I shave it? Oh, people are going to leave. Oh, who is this person? We're not, we're not, we don't want to talk to him. You, you, people won't take me seriously if you see me without facial hair. <laughs> Jack, thanks for humoring my question, Chicho. You always have an illuminating take. My pleasure, Jack. You thought jazz. I think a huge mistake that led uh, to our current situation is that in the 1980s and 90s, the racism was taught 
uh, about in American public schools, like something that happened in the past that we got over instead of uh, instead of an ongoing institutional issue. It made a lot of people complicit, in my opinion. Uh, Utah Jazz, I agree with you. Um, and it's not just that people. It's the institutions again will to address it. People say, oh, all police aren't bad. Right. But the policing force is is horrendous is corrupted to the core right how do we know this because they're hiring psychopaths like this like in your policing force just imagine if you had one incident like this in 10 years you would say okay a psychopath got through the you know was able to infiltrate and accidentally was hired and given power right but if you're seeing this constantly right if you're seeing the same psychopaths being disciplined multiple times over a number of decades being investigated multiple times over a number of decades and then ends up being filmed murdering someone live and then you say oh it's one bad apple it's not one bad apple it's the institution itself right when you see when i see a police officer in real life i do not engage with them i do not talk with them okay i've seen people you know when they see cops they go up and talk with them why do you why in the world are you going to talk with them are you stupid right the number one rule okay the number one thing that any lawyer anyone that knows the system tells you is keep your mouth shut do not talk to the police period i don't care if they're being friendly i don't care if they come up to you and talk to you when they come up to you and talk to you if they're asking you a question you can decide to answer them or not like for me i've gone to the beach i'm drinking something they come up to you and say alcohol i go no if they want to talk any further i just don't talk to them i'm sorry i'm busy right now i can't talk to you move on All right if they engage me i just stay silent right don't talk to the police they're not your friend they're not there to engage you in a positive light okay don't disrespect them right they got a license to kill you right but don't engage them they're not they're not your friend there's a lot of stupid people that do this they talk to police and as if they're friendly people as if they're they, they'll convince them uh to 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 be a good person no that's not going to happen they work in an institution that is 100 percent corrupt period end of story right are there good people that are cops sure there's a lot of good people that are cops right but if the shit is the fan okay and if their partner is arresting someone and beating the crap out of them the cop is going to protect their partner to allow them to do whatever it is that they're doing because they're in the same boat together they're wearing the same uniform right Graham I don't understand people this group of people protest that they can't go to the Applebee's this group of people are protest the state sponsored murder of a black man in broad daylight a the, these are the not the same thing B everyone is a hypocrite nothing makes sense cats and dogs living together mass hysteria crap yeah things are a little chaotic man things are because this has been going on for a long time uh michigan read uh redeem highlight my message uh, what do you think about jordan peterson and his ideas uh someone else asked this earlier i agree with some of the stuff he says i think he's totally confused with some of the other things he says and i think he's misrepresents some of the other stuff right i've watched his debates i've watched a couple of lectures of his i've read a couple of things that he's written uh i found him making f errors in his judgment uh misrepresenting certain facts and i've also seen him present some actual facts right for me i'm not uh you know i i i don't have a really strong feeling again about him right so you know he's allowed to say what he wants to say i totally disagree with universities and social justice warriors shutting them down that is stupid right those people who shut other people down from speaking they're fascists right uh, they should never be trusted 
because when it comes down to it they'll shut you down if they disagree with you okay I found out recently a lot of the pictures and history books from the civil rights era are in black and white to make students believe it happened long long ago than it did the pictures that are black and white were taking color really cool yeah. that's cool uh, little tidbit because they truly didn't happen all that long ago they didn't happen all that long ago all right Elmiro uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with this answering with uh, was us yes but Clinton left the US economy in good shape that's what I meant my dad said that job positions were great during his term uh, El Miro El, El Himiro uh, Clinton was in the right time at the right place right what the Clintons did in an in the 1990s was horrendous they tripled the prison population right they removed they allowed banks to gamble with your money they bombed the only chemical factory in africa they started the war with the taliban right in afghanistan on the same day on the same day they sent a missile to a pharmaceutical company in Africa, the only pharmaceutical company in Western Africa, sorry, Eastern Africa, I believe, I believe it was in Sudan, destroyed it. That was creating medicine for, uh, for, for people, for people, I believe, but for livestock. They were directly responsible for starting famines in Africa because a lot of people couldn't get their medicines they needed for their livestock. So it was insane. The Clintons were effing horrendous bill clinton hillary clinton the clinton and their clan should be put in jail they were good for the u.s economy on the backs of who how many people did they murder how many horrendous things that they start that we're paying the price for now right afghanistan 100 right afghanistan 100 right the sanctions on iraq they were responsible for millions of people being like 500,000 children as Madeleine Albright would say was the price worth it look into Madeleine Albright and her comment regarding 500,000 Iraqi children dying because of the sanctions that the Clintons imposed on Iraq right she said she thought the price was worth it why don't you ask the 500,000 families that their children died Clinton was good for the US economy is the u.s economy good right now clinton's economy was built on blood right you reap what we sow right so what we're seeing right now is directly as a result of what the clintons did just because you had a little blip of looting going on and people making money it doesn't mean it was a good economic plan clinton was horrendous and who was like really Biden was part of the whole gang. Okay. Elmiro, your father is uh, incorrect. Okay. Your father is correct if all, all your measurements ended in 1999. Nothing else matters after that. And if you you died then, sure, the Clintons were great for you. You'd live through a little boom period as long as you didn't realize that it was blood money coming in, okay? And future generations were going to pay the price. Clintons, they should all be in jail, okay? Catholic tradition, Shisho, that is another reason why I advocate for small local police. It is not a problem to chat with a police officer if they also happen to be your sister or your neighbor or your coach or your children's youth minister. 100% agree, Catholic traditionalists, right? I have, yeah, there's only one cop that I've, that I've talked to that used to live in my neighborhood, right? And when I was youth early late teens early 20s right but he didn't serve in that neighborhood he served in another community right and i have a friend that's a police officer one of my best friends oldest friends ever is a police officer right and during her when she came into become a police officer is when they changed the law where you could serve in your own community okay 
I'm gonna scroll down, gang. Oh wow, we're an hour and a half plus into this live stream. I'm gonna scroll down, scroll down. Graham Chicho, there were massive peaceful protests here in Dallas before the cops showed up and threw tear gas in the crowds. Yeah, I've been watching that, and that's their thing, right? That's that's why that's how police police agencies uh, get their funding, right? Create a little chaos, broken window mentality, right? The broken window hypothesis or whatever it's called. Go burn some shit down and tell people, hey, you need to protect them because you burn that shit down, right? Asian provocateurs. Coolio, if uh, if I were to start a blog, what platforms are best? Um, brother, I'm on Blogspot because that's where I went to when my original site got hacked. Uh, well, second site got hacked. And I didn't want to take on the burden, so Blogspot was cheap. I would personally create it on three different platforms and just mirror everything. It takes a little bit of extra time, so you just have to automate it or automate it. I do it manually, right? But basically, post, post, post. So copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. Doom, doom, doom. You do it that way, right? Um, look into it i haven't looked into it and i'm not going to look into it because i don't want to put the energy into it uh right now i'm more into just creating content and stuff like this i haven't backed my blog spot uh some of it was backed up on archive.org my previous site is backed up pretty pretty much in detail in archive.org there's a lot of articles that i still go to archive.org from you know 2007 2008 2009 2010 and reference some of those articles myself right so rather look into it Elmiro Chicho have you read the book Asata Shakur oh, Asata Shakur that's uh, Tupac uh, Tupac's and right it's a pretty interesting book and there's an online PDF version uh, for free I believe so anyway I'm only mentioning it right now because of what's been happening right now in the US okay if you want uh, Miro please link it up uh, in our discord uh, if there is and I think that's uh, uh, Tupac Shakir's aunt, right? Cater X God X Chicho. Have you watched any movie TV shows worth mentioning lately? I'm watching the Ozarks right now. Um, it's basically about money laundering, which is pretty cool. I like it. Um, I'm gonna start watching Babylon 5 soon. Okay, if you like sci fi, Babylon 5 from the 1990s is fantastic uh, i've watched some anime and stuff like this uh oh not nice movie that i saw that i f that was really good uh, that a student of mine uh recommended and it was a feel-good movie gifted it's about a seven-year-old girl that's a math prodigy and his family and it's, it's just a feel-good movie and if in these times it's very important to watch feel-good movies and things that make you smile and laugh right so a movie that i would recommend if you just want to watch a feel good movie it's on it's the same actress that was in uh, uh troop zero so troop zero i really liked right uh, or trooper zero no troop zero and gifted it's about a seven-year-old math prodigy and the dynamics of the family and stuff like this it's a feel good movie uh, it's good if you want to watch a serious money laundering movie uh, TV series Ozarks is good and if you want to watch sci-fi uh, look into um, uh, Babylon 5 okay and I'm watching uh, uh, Rick and Morty but this season is not as good as previous seasons but I'm gonna keep on watching Rick and Morty fantastic Clazar Clazaro class zaro chicho should self-driving cars be banned just asking ah oh, no i don't think they should be banned they're coming at some point right i think it's going to roll out with self-driving taxi services to a certain degree uh public transportation and then we're going to see a roll out into busing uh, uh busing as well as uh trucking uh but that's the direction we're going i don't think technology should be banned i think what we do with data acquired from use of technology should be uh, should have anonymity 
through by design right programmed in a way where it can't be mined right Graham Chicho by the way you're absolutely right apparently a large pallet of bricks was conveniently placed outside Dallas City Hall yeah and it wasn't just one place Graham from what I understand in multiple places and not in just one city in multiple cities the sent the police force in the United States is militarized and centralized and it's they're not your friends okay elder god babylon 5 you're the one that kicked me into it man i'm gonna watch it a catholic traditionalist chicho i promise that not all of us from the ozarks are like that yeah catholic traditionalist i didn't think so and have you watched any of the episodes it's uh you asked me before if it portrays people in the ozarks in a good light and it doesn't right but it's a money laundering uh, tv series and it does cover the money laundering aspect of it well it just happens to place it in the ozarks but it shouldn't be in the ozarks it should be in new york city it should be in wall street it should really be focused in washington dc right and hollywood right not the ozarks that's not where most money laundering occurs money laundering occurs in wall street washington dc and hollywood those are the three places and of course the pentagon right and the cia and fbi and policing forces right it's centralized power that laundering the most amount of money in the world it's not the ozarks through little mom and pop shops that's not the, what's happening right casinos as well by the way las vegas is a huge place right as was atlantic city cron how are you doing hey chicho haven't been here a little nice to have you brother or sister of course right robertson bailey chicho have you read the Givar and or the chris lads if so did you enjoy the books i don't know them no uh, the giver not Givar. the giver apologies uh towards the end of the streams my eyes are a little goo -ga 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 reading the text uh the giver no i haven't uh they sound like sci-fi though i'm gonna scroll down ozarks is richmond smith yeah <laughs> funny ozarks is vancouver the casino has laundered a lot of money in vancouver catholic tradition is chicho i have not watched it yet by the way you might have seen news reports lately about a bunch of knuckleheads piling into a pool and resorts in missouri the town that occurred in is the same one in which ozarks is based yeah catholic tradition is actually uh, i saw it on my twitter feed where this one guy starts dancing and starts coughing into the camera <laughs> now i don't know if that was a joke that they did the person coughing into the camera or if it was a legit thing happening right what's your second favorite babylon quote what's your first favorite babylon quote i missed it elder god what's going on where's your first favorite babylon quote nice stream again nice discussion i'm glad we dealt with some of the issues um, as you can tell I, and by the way if you think this is just a policing force that is corrupt right that is centralized power that is money laundering that is full of psychopaths then it's please be aware that it's not as the story of jonathan magby would have told you but if you want to know uh, how bad the court systems are in the united states look up kids for cash right kids for cash i followed this thing that was progressing in the late 2000s right where two judges i forget where it was was it michigan i might have been michigan or it might have been new york i forget which state it was in but two judges were in charge of juvenile court right kids that were coming into court even if they were a students even if they were there from like for no reason they just they just got caught up somewhere the kids that were coming into the court they were sending them to a prison kids prison okay and for every kid that they were sending to prison the private prison was giving them five thousand dollars kickback right so these two judges had sent thousands of kids to jail 
over a number of years for five thousand dollars a pop you read this you'll appreciate how corrupt the centralized institution is this whole centralized state of being it goes from the enforcers on the street to the judges that are passing judgment on people right two judges selling kids destroying not the children's not only the children's lives but their families their friends their extended family how much crime has come about because those kids lives were destroyed and they were abused in the prison juvenile prison right kids for cash look into it okay there should have been ma mass protests in the united states when that news hit right and just imagine how many judges there are in the united states and really appreciate that it's the system and it's not just these two judges that were doing this or are doing this they're dollar for donuts if i was a betting man i'd be willing to bet there's a few orders of magnitude higher than just the two judges right coolio i've been watching oh yeah and i watch uh, samurai 7 as anime goes samurai 7 is very good anime i finished that last week it was very good uh, coolio says i've been watching recent anime from 2019 2020 glepar and uh Darwin's game are pretty cool. Oh, and my hype for Tower of God continued to build. Oh, really? Coolio, Mark, uh, hook us up on our Discord anime page, please. Anime folder. Catholic tradition of Chicho. I have not watched it yet. By the way, you might have seen. Oh, hold on. I, I missed it. Kick me up. I'm glad I went back. That anime. Coolio posted on our Discord. Coolio. Uh, Chicho, in your opinion, which uh, country would be the best to live in right now in terms of privacy and individual freedom uh, as far as i've looked into iceland okay but it's bloody cold man <laughs> uh, miro chicho as a canadian what do you think about your prime minister i think he's just a tool he's a corporatist right he's just a corporatist period Bailey Robinson Bailey what's more corrupt figure skating Olympic judges or Supreme Court judges they're on the same level controlled by the same people right controlled by the same people gang we're up to almost two hours should we call the stream we got a few minutes left wait aren't most of the, the servers in Iceland are they I know you got internet privacy and internet anonymity to a certain degree i know the pirate bay is present there uh, there's a pirate bay party there i know they threw bankers in the, from the 2008 scam that occurred in jail one of the few countries in the western world that threw bankers in jail right all those are pluses to me plus uh they produce amazing music right uh bjorg is fantastic and there's a dj that's a friend of mine uh homar uh i know them from the thug fucker days right so look up uh thug fuckers and one of the people there is homar from iceland that he lived in new york and another one is greg he was he's italian that lives in new york and i think they've gone their separate ways producing their own work but i've had some friends from iceland and i like uh, i like the icelandic twisted look at the world uh, very much suits my perspective no i want the 120 minutes i didn't pay for oh my god <laughs> nice thanks very much chicho my pleasure definitely worth staying good good i'm moving to iceland getting a vpn starting a gorilla radio station and getting to trick getting ready to trigger the decentralization revolution like coolio says just make sure you're close to one of the hot top, hot springs that they have right awesome true good good stream it, it went better than uh i thought it might go because there's a lot of anger out there so i'm glad uh, that cooler heads are prevailing uh, in our stream anyway uh, even even your fuck sound happy all the god says have you seen bjorg uh, i've seen i've seen bjorg uh, live fantastic performance fantastic performance right very good performer 
uh, well worth it if you get the chance go see her okay you got to read Franz Fanon Franz Fanon I know that name I can't associate it right now I don't know uh, what it associates to he's great nice nice okay gang aside from that mods first of all thank you for taking care of business for those of you that are here who have subbed who are followed thank you very much for the subs and follows if you want to follow this work i have a presence on patreon patreon.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o i share information there if you want to support the work patreon is a fantastic place to support this work i don't put stuff behind paywall so you can just follow the work and see what we're doing and if you do like it then if you do have the means support the work through patreon we are live streaming this on chicho on chicho on twitch twitch.tv and twitch.com should work as well backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e okay if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at okay i do announce these live streams 20 minutes or 30 minutes beforehand on twitter gas minds vk and elo okay so you can follow the what we're doing there and i do make announcements regarding these live streams and other information that we are sharing i am recording these live stream discussions on a lapel mic external mic that we are uploading to soundcloud.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as podcasts okay we've had a lot of requests to do this over the years and i finally hopped onto it this year okay so slowly we're gonna load on previous videos and live streams we've done on soundcloud as well as stay up to date with what we're doing uploading the content on soundcloud as podcast as well as previous videos that we've had as far as the video is concerned everything goes on bit shoot technical difficulties permitting and as much as we can we'll load on youtube uh making sure that the sensors don't kill our channel because youtube is in full censorship mode and they're destroying a lot of content and eliminating a lot of discourse from their platform so they're more of a uh, they're not a platform anymore they're more of a publisher so they're censoring a lot of content so if you do want to follow this work make sure if you like all the content you're subscribed to bitshoot as well but if you are on youtube we also rolled out youtube membership this year so joining through youtube membership is also a fantastic way to support this work aside from that gang thank you very much for being here moz we're taking care of business and we're going to do another current events live stream tomorrow night same time 7 30 p.m my time because these are interesting times and we need to stay on top of it this is just the beginning gang make sure you don't just become a reactionary okay you don't want to be caught up in the problem solution reaction thing going on with centralized powers this is a long game at play keep your eyes on the prize we're working on improving our societies and we're going to continue to do this for as long as we can okay i hope you guys have a fantastic evening fantastic morning for all of those in the uk i hope the birds are singing for you okay and i'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it and then two math streams one on tuesday and one on thursday both of them at 2 30 p.m my time see you guys later gang bye for now